Welcome to Just a Minute with the American Benefits Council. I'm Jim Klein. Well, it's an election year, so we have all seen a lot of polls being taken. And as we've done during past election cycles, we've decided to find out what's on voters' minds as it relates to benefit issues. So under the auspices of the Alliance to Fight for Healthcare, a multi-stakeholder coalition that we coordinate, uh, we commissioned the highly regarded Winston Group to conduct some national polling to find out what voters are thinking about various aspects of employer-sponsored health care coverage. What they did find is that there are extraordinarily high levels of satisfaction among people who have employer-sponsored coverage. We also asked a question regarding how they feel about the practice of charging hospital outpatient fees when a service is provided in a physician's office and that doctor's office has been purchased by a hospital system. Not surprisingly, overwhelmingly, the voters said that they oppose that practice. Next year, Congress, regardless of the outcome of the election, will be tied up dealing with the expiring provisions of the 2017 tax law. That will put employee benefits in a pretty vulnerable spot. There have been a number of proposals, particularly coming from the Republican side of the aisle, that would impose a tax, a cap, if you will, on the tax exclusion for employer-sponsored health coverage, and in fact, perhaps even a cap on the employer deduction. Again, not surprisingly, the voters responded overwhelmingly that they thought that this was a bad move. These tangible, scientifically meaningful statistics will be useful for us as we move forward in our advocacy. And of course, we'll be keeping you posted on how all that is moving along. Thank you for giving us just a minute today, and as always, thank you for the privilege of serving you here in Washington, D.C.